Hello. In this video, I'm going to walk through a couple of Office scripts performance related uh, tips that's going to help your script run much faster. And this is in relation to a scenario that's quite common, which is um, you're required to read some data out of uh, Excel and uh, perform some data manipulation and write back. Uh, an example data that I have is list of products. And what I want to do is append some data to the customer name. Uh, yes, you can use formulas for this, but for the sake of demonstration, let's say um, I have to read and then I have to perform this in the script itself and write back. Um, so there is sort of what, the right way of doing this and then there's a the wrong way of doing this. Uh, so I'm going to show both. Uh, so beginning with this uh, very simple script, uh, and what it does is on line number five, it gets the reference to the range. So it gets the active worksheet and gets the use range, which, which is this. And if this data happens to be in a table, you can also um, use the table to get to this data. Um, the API is going to be slightly different, which is you get the, get the table either through collection and read the first one, or you can get the table with its ID uh, or name and then uh, get get its underlying range. All right. And then once I have the range reference, I'm uh, just displaying the address here. Uh, it, the get address gets the range, and I just wanna run this and make sure it runs correctly. So yes, so you'll see that on the console, it's displaying the right range. Um, and then I'm gonna um, paste uh, a code snippet here, which shows sort of the wrong way of doing this. Um, so that is, it first gets the row count. It's a number of rows in this uh, range. And then for each of the row, it gets the row uh, using the uh, the range get row API that takes in the index. So for instance, and, um, it starts with uh, I equals one, which is the second row. So the get row is gonna be just that part of the um, part of the range and for um, each of the row it then gets the the second cell which is using the get cell and then gets its value so in this case it's going to get that value and then um, for the same cell it will use a set value API and pass in the the data that it just read plus some constant concatenated string um, so that's pretty much it so I'm going to run this uh, against this sort of fairly smallish data. I have just 27 rows in here. Uh, so you'll notice that um, when I run this, the the um, it, you know it was you could see each of the row getting updated, right? Um, and that's not what you want to see because for small data you can uh, you can manage with that. But let's imagine I have something large like in this case. Um, I have, I think, similar data, but around 900 some rows. Uh, so nothing super big, but at the same time, uh, if I'm updating, you know, if I'm able to see one row getting updated, so that means it'll take a really long time for it to run through. Um, so you can't really scale this uh, for anything more than just a few handful of rows. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is comment this out and show what's, the ideal way of doing this. Uh, to do that, I'll first read the uh, the rows of data, so, uh, the actual data associated with it. So I'll use the range uh, get values API. So this returns a two-dimensional array object that represents just the data within. Uh, and now once I have that locally, which means now I was able to bring the data back from Excel, and um, I'll use a very similar loop like before uh, again start with uh, the row one and um, go through the entire length of the rows um, and then for each row what I'll do is uh, update the rows um, the second cell so uh, so this is um, I and then one so the first index is the row and the second is a column so that's um, uh, for each I, the, the, the first, second columns are index one. I'll set that to, um, you know, the same plus the concatenated value that I need. 
Uh, so I'll just use a hard-coded value here as before. Um, and then once I have that, okay, so that's the concatenation. So once I have that at the end of the, the loop, uh, each of the rows have been updated. And then I can just simply use the range set values API and pass in the same rows. Um, so you'll see that, let me just kind of go to the end of this, um, end of this data here. So um, I'm going to run this script and this uses just a single read, which is read everything you need ahead of time, um, get this into local variables and process the local variables and then just update back using the set values. Uh, so, um, so I, I ran this, as you can see, quickly updated all these 900 some rows and it took far fewer seconds than the time that it took to go through each of the rows. Uh, so this is the ideal way of doing it. Um, so make sure that you read all your data ahead of time and then just use the set values uh, all at once.